So my very last question would be, are these decentralized structures, what we are talking about, how do they fit in the traditional educational system? Perhaps a better question uh, is, is to ask how do the educational systems fit into this distributed, decentralized uh, world that we live in? Uh, because, you know, as teachers, I, I know we always like to squeeze the world into our classrooms, and I think we're at a point now where we have to squeeze our classroom into the world. We're not squeeze; we have to open up our classroom into the world rather than trying to push things in. Uh, and and that, that has, I think, potential for transformative impact in terms of how people will uh, create curriculum, how people will learn, how people will interact with each other. So there is a, a potentially a fundamental shift that, that could arise out of those uh, that decentralized structure. And as I mentioned earlier, the, the narrative of coherence, like a teacher yeah. typically forms that in a classroom. But when we go into distributed environments, learners form a narrative of coherence. They, they understand a discipline by how they connect to each other, by how they uh, relate to each other, by the signals they send off, by the amplification of information through, through these social structures. And they, they begin to understand the world through weaving and stitching together these fragmented mm -hmm. entities. So the question is, okay, that's what's going on in the world as a whole, literally. How do we, how do we then make our classroom compatible with that kind of an environment? Because the skills required to do that are critical. And, and that's what our <laughs> students should be acquiring as they move forward. Thanks a lot from my side. <laughs> my pleasure.